as we slice across the Ontario sky en route to one of White River Air's remote outpost lakes, we can't help but wonder, is this the year we land another 50-incher? What streamer pattern is going to prove magical this year? Will the large pike be in the same bays as last year? Will the Ontario sun shine down and warm the bays to the perfect temp? How many pike over 20 pounds will bend our tent weights to the breaking point? So many questions that will soon be answered. on the fly. Hi guys, just unloading the truck here from our annual fishing trip with White River Air. Once again this year we went after the large pike with our fly rods here in late May. You know guys, we caught way more fish than I could possibly put in a 15 minute video. So I'm going to stick with the same format that I've used in the past and simply roll some of our better fish scenes. So while I'm unpacking the truck, why don't you guys enjoy some of our big fish footage from this year's trip. As we unload our gear from the float plane on a beautiful spring morning, I want to take a minute and let those of you who are not fly fishermen know that if you are a walleye fisherman and you're coming up in June, July, or August, you've got a fantastic opportunity of catching one of these big pike just jigging for walleyes. So good luck fishing and check out some of this footage. Missed it. Is he big? Is he still on it? Yeah, here he comes. I'm on it. Here he comes. Yes! Big fish, Jeffy. Big nice fish. fish. That is a big, big fish. Oh. Dude, oh. get him on the reel. Get him on the reel. He's going under the boat. I gotta get him on the reel. Get him on the reel. Merrilled up. Oh, he's a good one. Yeah. Glad I got the 10 weight. <laughs> Nice oh, yeah, job. Dude, this is a nice I one. gotta get the push pole down. It ain't massive, but it's no, good. no, no. But it's it's a re really good fish. Oh, yeah, look at the head on that thing. Huge noggin. Mm. Oh, nice yeah. job, dog. She goes on her own. Nice job, dude. Nice job. He's coming, Jeff. I see him. He's coming. There he is. <laughs> think he was gonna take it. I didn't think he was gonna take it either. He was, <laughs> when he made up his mind though, he was all over it. I know he's got me. a big run in him. They're getting more aggressive yep, temps. Get Let me tell you what we got going on right now. We've been into about six bays so far. We're seeing fish. We've seen some absolute studs. We saw one fish that go over 30, no question about it. How many 20s have we seen now? Maybe six? Five, six, yeah. Five or six but they won't take. They're just too lethargic. It's what, a little after noon right now? Yep, temperature's okay. 54 54 right now. for water temp? 53, 54. Yep, and, and finally, this guy's aggressive, so maybe they're, they're picking up here a little bit. Let me get him off, and get back at it. Refusal. Nope. Oh, he's a good one, Rod. That's a good fish. Get your crap together, get your crap together. It's not Huey. No, it's, it's not good. Huey, but it's a good one. See how long I had to coax him? Yeah, I, I didn't think he was going to take it. Not a giant, but a nice one. Nice belly on him. Yeah, yeah got a had belly to coax him into biting. 
You know, the water temperature is just getting up into the mid 50s, and we've seen a lot of big fish, but they just won't take. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon now, and we've just boated two in a row, so I think things are definitely going to turn on. Pulled into this bay, water temp's good. It's really a copper color, so you can't see them very well at all. And this guy was laying tight. We got close to him. You gotta be really quiet in the boat. We had the motor running and we just slowly backed out and dropped this leech in there. That's a good one. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's a, a stud. Nice. That's a really nice fish. Key, gotta be quiet in the boat. We got so close to this, um, the slightest little squeak of the shoe, drop something in the boat, this guy would have been gone. We coaxed it in and... Hold him up a little bit higher. That's a freaking awesome That's fish. That's a long... There's two. There's two. Here he comes. There's one behind him. One behind him. See it? Nice, nice fish, Jeff! Big fish. Big fish, Jeffy. Oh, dude, big fish. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, this, this is, is a, a stud. One. Nice job, Jeffy. <laughs> we plucked one of the three big ones. Nice job, dude. The other, look at the other one. It's still out there. Oh, my God. Get your oh. No, let's get him in. Look at this. Look how long he is. <laughs> swing it, swing it. <laughs> Dog. Look at the mouth on that baby. Yeah, boys. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Big pike on the fly. White River Air, big pike on the fly. Dude. So I can see the back. Look at the That's what's so cool about this fish. Look how wide it is. Man. White that River is Air. A beauty. Every year we come up, we boat giants. We're not just saying that. You do got to do. What you see us doing on the on the videos, but man, it can happen. Okay, we had a fish foul Greg's uh, cruiser leech right up here to the boat. I didn't have time to get the camera out. Didn't want to spook it. It took right here at the boat. Nice fish, Greg. Yeah, it's, it's a good fish. Set the push pole down here. Another solid. Healthy, healthy northern. Um, sun finally popped out for a consistent amount of time where we could get some casts. And uh, I didn't see this guy. Um, he came out and followed it right up to the boat. And uh, yeah, <laughs> hit right next to the boat. Rod didn't have time to get the camera out, but he crushed this cruiser leech. I got both hooks out, and he does not want to let this thing. If you've seen our videos before, then you already know. If conditions are right, you are going to catch a pile of large northern pike with White River Air. But with that being said, every year we have several large fish that simply refuse our flies. But that's fishing. And of course, every year we lose our share of big fish too. Broke you off. Totally broke you off. There goes eight bucks. Totally I've lost two it. of them white and gray rainies. That leader licked. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. I got it. I got it. Good one. Wide one. Not not long, but a wide one. Unreal here. Get the take. All right, what do you got? I got the take. I got everything. We. This is a bay that we fished for the last five or six years. We come in here, and we what? We see maybe one fish in five years in this bay, and we just came in here on a whim again. Oh, it popped off. Oh. It popped off. Oh. Oh well. Anyways, we we came in here this year. And, there, and there's fish everywhere. We've already seen a dozen studs. studs and big fish. They're all big. That's why you never 
you never know what bays they're going to be in. I have no idea how they pick or what they go by. Obviously, water temp is a huge deal. We've got a little bit of a slight wind pushing the warm surface water into this bay. What is the temp? Uh, look at it on the graph right there. Oh, it's... Uh, 56, I bet. 57. There, there 57. you go. When you start getting in the mid to upper 50s, game on. And what another we, fish right over there. And what do we say? There, actually, there's two fish right over there. That, that fish might take. You got me on film? Yep. Let me make a long cast of this fish. I can't tell how big it is. I can just see the green spot. I don't know if I got enough back cast here. Let me see what I can do. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. That's not a big one, but no. I'll take them. How big? He's big. He's big. You just cannot give up on these fish. I mean, Tommy played with one and played with one for 15, 20 minutes and finally coaxed it into biting. Same, same way with this one. I've thrown into this fish how many times? 10. 10, 12 times. 10, yep. Finally just let it sit in the mud and he was sniffing and just coaxing it up out of the mud and took it. There is a nice northern. Look at that. Like I said, we threw this fish, I don't know, 10, 12 times. Wouldn't take, kept coaxing them up. Finally let this blue rainies just sit in the mud. That's and a good photo he right kept there. twitching it and twitching it. And he finally ended up taking it. Twisting wow. head to it. As Greg fights another fish on the final afternoon of our trip, we realize that in the morning the float plane will come in and pick us up. And we'll have to wait a whole nother year and wonder what the fishing will be like next year. And if it's anything like the past 20 years, we surely won't be disappointed.